U.S. team is a, uh, we're diverse. Like, we have young guns and we have some old veterans, and uh, I, I'm kind of in the midpoint. And it's interesting because these young guys have so much energy and they are always push, 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 push. And the older guys, you know, they really pick their days that they want to try to like fire off and learn something new. You try to use the young bucks energy and motivate you and get you going, but then you try to be smart like the veterans. Each day I'm still learning, you know, and looking at the young guys and being like, how do I keep that mentality of being hungry? We have such unique personalities and people with such different backgrounds that it really creates an inspiring place to train and to get better at skiing. We all have a good time together. We're all super tight-knit, everybody gets along, uh, everybody argues, probably as much as I see my family, so, uh, which isn't very often. Everyone's learning from everyone, no matter what your age is, and that's something that the U.S. team has said. I don't think many other teams have. We work together the best that we can from the development side of things all the way up to the, the top, top pros. And that sort of dynamic helps us pass down that legacy of, of success and professionalism to the younger athletes as well. Bobby Brown is super professional, on point. He's also very methodical in how he operates. That's why he's had such a successful career. Ryan Stasel's from Alaska originally, so he's uh, definitely got that kind of Wild West spirit. Chris Corning is a, one of our younger athletes on the team. He's the first American to ever do a quad core. He wants to get that trick to the snow in Korea. We're all working together to support this team the best that we can. There's a lot of moving parts. And at the same time, we want to keep things fun because that's what snowboarding and free skiing is, is really about. It's, it's having fun. Pretty much the game plan's progression. As an athlete, I have tricks that I, I know that I can do and that I want to do. And so it just kind of comes down to being comfortable. We have a lot of equipment that we bring up to help with this progression. The cameras are very important so that we can do video review, not only after the training is, is over, but during the training we have a, a Wi-Fi system that's able to shoot the clips directly up to the start so that the coaches can see what's going on in the landings and down the course. Uh, and also the athletes can take a minute to stop and review what they're doing and, and the coaches can discuss with them you know, what they need to do better. Everybody's watching, all eyes are on you, you know, to help you out, try and learn a new trick, or if you're just having trouble with the trick, the video, you can go up and look at it, and it really helps on, you know, figuring out what you're doing wrong, or, you know, if it was good, you know what to do again. Our team coaches are pretty much like the elite, I say. When you're in the zone and really trying to learn a new trick, they know exactly what to say, they show you what you need to know, and just get it done. I, I don't think there's a day that goes by when I'm on my snowboard that I'm not at least scared once. You know, once I feel that fear, you get that kind of like that tingle inside and that nerve wracking feeling and you can kind of turn that to like this determination and this like drive. Our qualification process, we try to keep it really fair. We have a series of four to five events in the winter time, and we actually don't name our team until right before the Olympic Games. And the reason we do that is because we don't want people to qualify early and slow down. We want them to stay sharp, stay pushing. We want them to be at the top of their game when it comes time to get on that airplane to Korea and bring home those medals. The Olympic qualifiers are crazy and the best four Americans go, but the American field is just so deep with free skiing. Everyone that is announced, you know that they are the top athletes of the U.S. at that moment in time. My preparations, I think, are pretty good. I don't really know, though, because I've never gone, so I don't really know what it takes. I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants and seeing what happens and, you know, trying to do the best I can and you know, feel comfortable on the snowboard. I haven't really been in the contest scene for too long. You know, it's all happened really fast. I didn't expect this to be in this position at all right now. When I went to the Olympics, I didn't do as well as I would have wanted, but just to make it there was an amazing thing. And you know, after I didn't get the results I wanted to, and I was kind of bummed, and I'm like, yeah, dude, whatever, it's the Olympics, who cares? And, you know, honestly, and then, you know, a year later, I'm like, I was on the U.S. Olympic team. Like, that's a pretty special thing. You know, words just can't describe it you get to represent your country on the biggest stage. This is a title I'll be able to hold for the rest of my life. There's not many people in the world get to say that they're an Olympian. We've had some great success over the years at the Olympic Games, but you know, it gets more and more difficult every time. All we can do is do what we can do to prepare ourselves. We're not looking at our competition. We're really looking to set the bar and we're ready for anything. <laughs>